Oh, holy night. Someone said they wanted hymns. Here I am. Hey, want to welcome everybody to Grace Point this morning. Good to see y'all. Good to see you, Pam. Good to see May. Um, I'm not doing announcements or anything yet. I just want to encourage you this morning. It's uh, Thanksgiving weekend, the weekend after. And we talked a little bit about praise and worship last week. I want to encourage you just to give your best Thanksgiving to, uh, to God this morning. I had signs and I left them at home. They, they had little signs that said, laugh now, <laughs> say amen. I wanted to bring them up and, you know, put your hands in the air, but I left them at home. But I wanted to encourage you, one of the best things to do when we're worshiping God is to ignore people around you and just focus on the Lord and give him, that's a, a lot of times because of our self-consciousness, we want, you know, no, nobody cares. I, I miss a line every week. I, I sing a line that's not in the song, or I start early, and I just remind myself that no one's listening to me except for Pam. <laughs> but the Bible says we enter God's courts with thanksgiving. That means, the, okay, the way to start worshiping is give God thanks. You say, well, I'm not expressive. You just have to say, thank you, Jesus. We're going to try that. You ready? Thank you, Jesus. You're all, there you go. You got Thanksgiving. Then it says, what, enter his gates with praise? Is that what it says? So then enter his gates with praise. So we enter into his course. We come in, thank you, Jesus. And we get there, we make that. Then when he says praise, the praise, praising, you know, it can take different forms. But to me, praising is a step up. I, I think it's a little more exuberant because you're praising God. Anytime in the Bible when you see praise, it seems like there's more exuberance. So you just add a little more umph to it. You just, you know, praise, someone say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, when you're singing, would you go, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. No, you say, praise the Lord. Now, you could really go, but some of you, maybe you're, you're too shy to do that. So just say, praise the Lord. Can you th do that? Throw your hands in the air. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. Now, see how easy that was? And then we thank him, we praise him, and then we worship. And that's where you just shut everybody else off, and you focus on God, and you worship him for who he is, not because, you know, he did something for you, not because he got you a new pair of tennis shoes, not, not because you got a beautiful granddaughter. You just praise God and worship him rather for who he is. We focus on him and that's where he wants to get us. Great things happen in our life when we get past those uh, courts, past the, the gates and get into his presence and we worship him. The Lord loves that. The Bible says that we were created to worship God. And if you touch the Lord and he touches you, you'll enjoy it. You know, sometimes you have to plow a little bit. What do I mean by plow? You got to keep moving on whether you feel like it or not. You just plow a little bit. So I want to encourage you this morning. Let's give God thanks. Let's praise him and let's enter into worship. So welcome in. Welcome in, guys. Okay, here you go. <laughs> Amen. Would you rise with us? Thanks to the Lord, our God and King, His love endures forever. He is good, He is above all things, His love endures forever, sing praise, sing praise, forever, forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us. Forever, Ooh, forever, with a mighty hand, with a mighty hand, and an outstretched arm, His love endures forever, and for the life that's been reborn, His love endures forever, sing praise. Sing praise. 
sing praise, sing praise, forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever, oh, forever. From the rising to the setting sun, His love endures forever. The grace of God we will carry on. His love endures forever. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing praise. Sing. Praise. Sing God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever, forever, forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us. Forever, we sing it again, Lord. We believe it, Jesus. Forever, God is faithful. Yes, you are. Forever, God is strong. Forever, God is with us. Forever. Thanks, the Lord, our God and King. His love endures forever. He is good, He is above all things, His love endures forever, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, sing praise, forever God is faithful. Forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever, forever God is faithful, forever God is strong, forever God is with us, forever.
just want to say that I am uh, I'm thankful for my wife and the blessing that she is. Uh, you know, I had a someone who is much wiser than me tell me to start praying for my wife when I was, I don't know, 14 or 15. And from the time that I was 16 on, I think I prayed for her almost every day until, you know, we were married. And uh, God brought me an incredible woman of God. And so I encourage you to pray for those of you who are unmarried for your spouse. Even if you don't know them, have no idea, begin praying for them because God hears your prayers and he answers them. And I wanna, I wanna say that I'm thankful for my children and for the, uh, the spark that they bring and the blessing that they are, are to me and my wife. Amen.
shall soon dissolve like snow. The sun forbear to shine, but God who called me here below will be forever mine. Will be Father, we love you. Father, you are our most precious possession. Thank you for the life that you have given us, Father, that we are new creations in you. Father, thank you that when the world is spinning around, Father, you have given us your Holy Spirit and your word, Father, which slows things down, Father, and centers us, reminds us that we have built our house upon your rock. And that will remain, Father. Not just in this life, but it remains into your kingdom. Thank you for that, Father, for the grace that you've given us, Father, for the love that you have, Father, and what we have in you. A hope that endures all things. We thank you for that, Jesus. And we worship you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.